Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about all about adjectives and how they are used. I'm sure you remember what an adjective is, but just in case you don't, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. Some examples of adjectives are happy, green, tall, comfortable, or pleasant. Why do we use adjectives? We use adjectives to make our writing and speech more colourful and exciting. In fact, the words colourful and exciting are both adjectives. You'll notice that some adjectives end in ed or ing, such as frightened or frightening. These adjectives are formed from verbs. Here's a quick test: Which of the following words can be used as adjectives? Did you get the answers? They are late, young, and scared. In English, we often place an adjective before a noun. Here are some examples: a black cat, a happy fellow, a tall tree, a powerful computer. In many other languages, the adjectives are placed after the noun. They would say, "A cat black." Whereas in English we always say a black cat. How does it work in your language? We can use more than one adjective to describe a noun. Let's look at some examples: a fat black cat, a kind old man, a pretty young German woman. If we use multiple adjectives, there is a certain order which will make the sentence sound better. So. A fat black cat sounds better than a black fat cat. The most natural sounding order goes like this: opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose. So we would say, a good big old round red English metal frying pan. In practice, it isn't wise to use too many adjectives at one time. Use your adjectives sparingly, or you will drown your sentence. Adjectives do not always come before nouns. We can also use them with the be verb. Here are some examples. I am hungry. Am is a form of the be verb, and hungry describes me. Jack is tired. Tired describes Jack. Notice how adjectives spelled with ed often describe feelings. In fact, as well as the be verb, we use adjectives with other verbs such as feel, sound, look, seem, taste, appear, turn, and become. Here are some examples. Huff is. Felt hungry. Saliza looked happy. She seems nice. This cake tastes great. It is a fun and healthy game. Before we end, let's take a look at a common mistake in English. Don't say, "The shop is closed today." Say, "The shop." Is closed today. Close is the opposite of far. Closed is the opposite of open. That's all we have for today. Bye.